Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm artist Andrea Kirk. Today I have an extra special surprise for you. Sam, a subscriber of mine, requested that I draw a dinosaur. So I took my kids to a local dinosaur museum for inspiration. We all voted and the T-Rex was everyone's number one pick. For this project, you will need Faber-Castell polychromos or Prismacolor pencils. You will also need a pencil, an eraser, and a sharpener, and any high-grade art paper. For the background, I used Master's Touch pastels and finished off the project by spraying it with Krylon UV Archival Finishing Spray. Let's start out the project with simple basic shapes. Begin by drawing lines that show the dinosaur's form. At first it will look like a stick figure, but watch how the dinosaur slowly begins to emerge. For the head, draw a square on an angle. Round the back of his head and draw a downward diagonal line and connect the two lines together. Draw another diagonal line for his shoulder and back. Next draw his belly and connect around to the other side. For his left arm, draw an upside down triangular shape. Add a circle for each of his joints and cylinder shapes for his forearm and fingers. Be sure to round the end of each finger and add sharp claws. Repeat the same process for his right arm. Now draw a large oval for his right hip. All joints should be drawn with circles. Draw his large calf muscle and taper down toward his ankle. Add another circle and the lines for his foot going off the page. Draw a wavy line for where his tail meets his belly. Add a vertical line at the end. It should look like the number seven lying down. Now begin his left leg. Draw two parallel lines and taper downward toward his ankle. Round his hip a little more and then draw his large tail. Let's define his face a little more. First round his nose, then add a little bump on the top of his head. Next, draw a jagged line separating his top jaw from his bottom jaw. Then draw an additional line inside his mouth to make it appear three-dimensional. Define the bottom jaw and curve around for his chin. Then connect the bottom jaw to the top jaw. Now draw a second line above the bottom jaw line to define his mouth. Erase any additional lines. And then begin adding bulk to the dinosaur to make him stronger. Now we're ready for his facial features. Follow along carefully. The shape around his eye should look like a duck head. Then add a circle for his eye. You can also add a little slit for his pupil. Again, erase all the extra lines. Let's 
let's make him look more fierce. Follow along as I draw these special features. Now for the best part, his sharp teeth. Adding wrinkles above his mouth will make him look even more fierce. Add tiny circles around his bottom lip. Watch how by adding lines everywhere he grows more and more fierce. Draw a faint mountain range down below. Add the last finishing details and your drawing is complete. You can leave the drawing as is or follow the coloring process I use to make the dinosaur come to life. Before I begin to color, I've got to erase all the extra lines. I like to use my eraser to lighten all of the lines before I start coloring. These are all of the colors I will be using for my dinosaur. Watch carefully as I layer my colors one by one to create a realistic effect. Also notice how much emphasis is used on texture. I will be adding multiple lines throughout the process.
there you have it, a ferocious T-Rex. As I begin the background, I'm going to take a light blue colored pencil and shade behind his sharp teeth as well as around the head. Now take your black pastel and begin forming the mountains. Next take a small tissue and use it to blend. Now take a light blue pastel and form some mountains further in the distance. Use a white pastel to highlight at the base to look like mist. Then take gray and darken at the top. For the ground, use the black pastel to scribble some texture. Then add light blue over the top. Take your black colored pencil and use it to define the outline of the darker mountain. Use a light gray pastel to completely fill in the remainder of the foreground. Add more blue over the top. and then use the black pastel to draw additional texture. Blend with the tissue and now we will begin the volcano. Color the base of the volcano using a black colored pencil. Next, take a bright orange pastel and begin coloring a spout of lava shooting up into the sky. Use a deep red pastel to color around the orange making it more intense. For the smoke, take a black pastel and scribble around the lava. Fill in the empty spaces with the blue and the gray pastels. Be careful not to smear the pastels. You can avoid doing so by blowing the dust away each time you color. Once you've applied all the colors, take the tissue and blend everything together. I'm also going to add lava under his tail. You can also use the dark orange to add more lava within the smoke. Do 
To make it even more intense, I'm also going to draw a few details with my black colored pencil. Again, be sure to blend together with the tissue. And then add some deep blue to your smoke. Blend with the tissue and use the color on the tissue to smear on the other side of the T-Rex. Add a few more details and we're almost finished. Wow, check him out. He looks awesome. Our fun day at the museum definitely paid off. I loved this project and I hope you did too. Thanks for tuning in today. If you love art as much as I do, be sure to subscribe today for many more amazing projects to come. See you next time.